OTAN Outreach and Technical Assistance Network Okay, so I'm Francis. This is Mansoura. We are from Pittsburgh Adult Education Center. Our students are a community of learners, recent immigrants, and local residents aged 18 to 80 from the San Francisco East Bay communities of Pittsburgh, Antioch, Bay Point, Brentwood, and Concord. Our CTE programs, Allied Health Academy, offer training in certified nursing assistant, medical assistant, and we also have floral design. We have day and evening classes for ABE, high school diploma, CTE, I mean, excuse me, some CTE, GED, high sec, and five ESL levels. There is a distance learning option for ESL students and an independent study option for high school diploma. We are proud testing site for Pearson View testing. Two academic counselors and a career transition counselor who offers job search assistant, assistance support our students. We have approximately 35 teachers in all departments. Our DLAC team began with myself, Francis Tony Benny de Souza as the team leader, and Mansoura Shahzaim as our Tech. Sole member, <laughs> tech guru, <laughs> and administrator, and our administrator, Dr. Danny Lockwood. Our, our DLAC coach, Francisco Wentworth, uh, expertly led our cohort of three agencies through weekly meetings where our collaboration was so, this collaboration was so instrumental in our progress that post DLAC, we will continue to meet to discuss our challenges. We uh, worked with our department chairs, Lilia in ESL, Judy in CTE, and David in high school diploma, and GED. We also worked with our uh, registration and testing staff, John McDonald and Pamela Spindell, and IT tech, Johnny Vigil. Uh, we recently lost um, our CTE um, head, Judy, and um, but we were. She was really adored by her students, and she, sh by describing her own life, she was always telling them to be uh, ready to change and to take on new jobs. Um, and she was a big proponent of our Canvas LMS. And she was always an innovator. So she held her celebration of life before she died. And we all on participated Zoom. on Zoom from all over the country and Hawaii, and also in person at her church. Everybody wore Hawaiian shirts because that's where she's from, and the brightest clothes they had. And uh, everyone was giving, telling their stories about Judy. And finally, at one point, she said, all right, tell some funny stories about me. <laughs> and um, so we'll miss her a lot. But just calm down. Don't worry. She did not die of DLAC. <laughs> OK. Is that you? That nope, that's you. OK, where? Participation. Ah, so participation in DLAC was instrumental in advancing our continuous improvement plan, which was, our goals were to implement Canvas as our school-wide LMS. Ready? OK, as you can see, we revamped our registration process, which was paper to pencil, of course, before. So we went online working uh, with John, Pam, and Cheech. Those are their nicknames, I can't say the others. So working with them so that all students have access to that. And yes, we did run into the problem that some other people had mentioned that people had registered and not heard back, but we took care of that as well. 
Um, the development of our implementation plan quantified the tasks to be done in the order in which they had to be executed. So we had to figure out the plan. Our priority has been to implement the dynamic features of Canvas efficiently to create as little work as possible for staff and teachers, because staff and teachers don't need any more work, right? Okay. As a small team and with very little IT support, we spent most, most of the first year working on technical infrastructure and organization. I took on the role as PAEC tech support for department heads and course instructors. We offered a professional development on Canvas in person hands-on. Our district IT set up an automated scheduled migration from ASAP into Canvas, which gets done four times a day and it has to be monitored. And that means we have to talk to the three people we mentioned before with the assistant from our Canvas adoption. And we have, we developed everything the first time on our free one and then we moved it over to the new one. So definitely a lot more bells and whistles, you'll love that. This year, we are able to hand over our maintenance tasks to the registration test center, and our Canvas trainer hours were leveraged to meet training webinars and best practices for department heads in OTAN, who provided, of course, three hands-on customized professional development webinars for our teachers. And it wasn't just ESL, all of our teachers from CTE High School Diploma also attended. A teacher training course in Canvas was created to house all three resources and course shells. We piloted online student orientation basics, which we practiced Zoom, Canvas, Gmail, and of course, we had to figure out which devices and how they work. So on the Mac, a PC, a tablet, a smartphone, and then we had to get e-textbook skills. People have to know how to access them to participate in class. In the second year, we had one-to-one -one training, which we provided to teachers, and our administration went ahead and paid those trainings and allowed the teachers to be paid for those trainings, so there was a benefit there. Um, and provided to move the teachers so they can put all their courses on Canvas, as you can see. Canvas allowed us to make online materials available on smartphones. For high school diploma, I believe it was the best because high school diploma was paper to pencil making copies, textbooks, and now all of their curriculum is on Canvas. CTE students on Canvas have access to their books like we were talking about earlier. We have different programs that we can go into CK12 and go to August Learning, that's a CTE program, and we bring everything into Canvas so no one has to go away from Canvas to get the resources. CTE students on Canvas have access to their eBooks, links to supplementary teacher videos and testing. So I was able to bring those tests and videos into Canvas. ESL use of Canvas, we have eBooks and online resources on their smartphones. This is for our ESL. You can tell we use Future, um, News for You, Burlington, and I'll show you some numbers from all of this later on. A lot of our teachers have already gone ahead and started using WhatsApp to communicate with their students. So they're not waiting to go to campus and find out if a class is canceled. And this is how Canvas looks on your phone. So Canvas is a free app to the students on your phone, on a Mac, on a laptop. I have all that ability. I can tell you what it looks like. And then truly what I was really passionate about was taking uh, Frances' distance learning, which was students coming in once a week, working with her, getting homework and leaving, well, because of COVID and because of Canvas, it went to truly online, where they're able to meet online. She has one student or she has multiple, multiple students, but they get that one-to-one -one from the teacher and they're able to do it at their pace. They don't have childcare, don't have driving. As we know, a lot of immigrants don't have that, those resources. So for them to be able to continue their education, this was truly distance learning. Okay. Okay, so we were taught ah, mm -hmm. the, dis the digital leader participant course and the ideal 101, 102 courses uh, gave us the training to build a realistic project to roll out to meet our school's needs. 
the DLAC virtual communication training with Dr. Porter gave us the skills to help others become more involved and support their efforts. We were taught how to use our strengths in their appropriate areas, such as Mansoura's achiever and connectedness and multilingual skills for training teachers and students in online skills. And these were supported by my analytic, organizational, and arranger skills. I was willing to take charge and initiate. Mansoura was willing to get it done. And from DLAC, we got the support we needed to build our digital networks. Okay, we have faced, as you can see, challenges and barriers that we counted. Dr. Porter guided us because we faced challenges in getting information to all teachers and barriers in technical equity for both teachers and students. Our principal, Dr. Lockwood, labored to provide teachers with laptops and paid professional development in Canvas. For all the teachers, he outfitted the ESL department classroom with Chromebooks and equipped pilot classrooms with cameras and microphones for high flex teaching. He has requested additional hours for our computer aid, Cheech to assume some Canvas responsibilities in registration and testing, and the creation of a classified IT position to support Canvas. The growth of our agency infrastructure for Canvas is the foundation that puts us well on the way to bring our teaching into 21st century and give our students the practice and the digital skills they need to succeed. Go ahead. Accomplishments? Mm -hmm. We don't have time. So you can see we made very a great deal of accomplishments in just a very short time, two years. And we began, began with very little expertise in online teaching, and now we have teachers who embrace what they can do and demand more training. And our students also have multiplied their skills and want more access to digital education. OTAN office hours and everything they provided us with were pivotal in making this possible to happen. And now we feel like we are on firm ground to move our school into the 21st century and for our students to have the skills they need when they leave school. Oops. Okay, this is the hybrid high flex learning model. As you can see, I do have a laptop, which is my gaming laptop, because I need it to be really quick. And behind me, I'm also on Zoom behind me, so the students in the classroom can see the students online, and they can communicate with each other. And then as you can see, I have my laptop here, so that I can immediately see if my students need help online. So really managing the classroom became a great way for me to figure out how to reach every single student. Um, here's some research that I did. I'm constantly seeing my students on, in, on their cell phones, internet devices, contributing, sharing videos. So why not use that time that they're using watching cat videos? to learning, to use it on Canvas. And then this is the hybrid model. Before in the pandemic, we had 20%. I was using 20% of Future and 10% of Burlington. It was there, okay, kind of used it. But during the pandemic, we started increasing. Now I'm up to about 90. My students are on Burlington on their own. We have the laptops in the classroom. They have access to Future. They can do extra activities. So we're taking that pen to paper and moving it to the next level. So in, in summary, our teachers feel they're more confident. They have the resources. They have the logins. Um, they're able to use Canvas because we spent the time and trained them. Students, there's more participation because they don't spend that time driving. They don't spend that time worrying about gas prices. They can just do it from home. And our administration had, has gotten a better understanding of the needs of the students and the teachers. And time is managed more effectively because that is the greatest uh, necessity. Next, go ahead. Okay, so our next steps are full use of Canvas and more training for our teachers. Uh, and for hopefully we'll get staff to do ongoing student digital orientation. For our students, we want them to have uh, knowledge of their strengths and their career goals and to do an equity check-in to see that our students have what they need to succeed. 
We hope to create a classified tech support position to manage Canvas. And we want to say thank you to everyone, especially Penny Nitta, Marjorie, Melinda, Anthony, the Diva, Francisca, Destiny, yeah. and Dr. Porter. And we're letting Here We Come to CDLC, See. which is hosted by OTAN and is the California Distance Learning, Learning Cooperative. We hope to see you there. Yes.